investigation of reports from funeral homes, morgues, and hospitals has concluded that the unburied dead are coming back to life and seeking human victims. Good morning, everybody. Um, yeah, so I'm <laughs> I'm definitely blaming this one on SIG. Uh, last night, and a lot of people have been saying it because it's that time of year, and everybody had such an entertaining time the last time the bats came into my house, and uh, SIG brings it up last night, and everybody was talking about it on G-Mangos, and I said, I, I actually was almost kind of joking because there's been no evidence um, all summer long. I, at the beginning of the summer, there were some bats. I know that they live in the pine tree, but they weren't they weren't bad like they had been the previous year. So I wasn't really anticipating much. Um, but I come down here this morning, and I'm actually, like, my voice is shaking right now. My hands are shaking. I'm fucking quivering. Uh, I know that there's, uh, at least one bat in the house, and I'm gonna show you guys why. Um, try not to pay, it's really messy in here, I haven't been feeling good, and everybody knows, like, a lot of people know I've been busy, my dad just had surgery, and, uh, I haven't been home a lot, and, um, so anyway, but I'm just gonna show you, um, on the tops of my window, on the tops of my windows I keep stuff I keep like little knickknacks and things of that nature the first thing I noticed when I came downstairs was the dog bed and there's a little red glass bottle there that goes up there in the middle of those blue bottles this when the bats are in here they can't get out they start flailing around knocking into shit flying circling circling they hit stuff up high uh, this poster that was in my kitchen is knocked out of the frame um and then over here you can see there's an empty spot right there that's like a collection of owl stuff and if you go down to the floor there it is right there now sure that one is just a, a plate and the wind could have done that because the windows were open last night but it wasn't windy and i'm just telling you guys i know that this is what it is and then upon further investigation i look right here and again I'm kind of OCD with like my decorating and with the even, even spacing, you can see that there's something missing on the top of the windowsill there. And it's probably down there behind the couch somewhere. Um, and I'm really freaked out uh, to look around because if I look really hard. I might, I mean, none of the doors are closed. <laughs> it could be anywhere. It could have been circling. The, uh, well, I slept last night. It, it probably was circling. It, usually they go up, up, up. And they make their way into my bedroom because a lot of the upstairs doors are closed due to the heat situation. Like I have to, my house is so big, I have to shut, shut some of the heat off in certain rooms to keep it. So anyway, it probably circled around me as I slept. All right, well, that's your uh, November 2020 bat update. I will get back to you guys in a little while and let you know what's going on. But they're back.